Hey everybody, it's March 30th, 2017, and this is daily vlog number 334. It's uh, Thursday, and uh, i uh, been pretty busy today. Uh, had a little work to do today, and then came home and was uh, searching the internet, and Rosa was being loud, because <laughs> Cindy left. Loud, loud. Yeah, she was loud. But um, I have five news stories to talk to you about today. So let's just get to it. First one here is Mike Flynn will. First one here is Mike Flynn willing to be interviewed in return for immunity. Well, he's willing to be interviewed as long as he gets immunity. So I guess he's got something to that he's afraid he's going to be charged with, uh, including with the Russians, maybe. I don't know. Uh, got a guilt of conscience there. Thanks. He <laughs> needs immunity. He uh, might. Got he, it. he might. Okay. Well, you know, hey, the dogs are fighting out there. But, uh, hey, well, we'll see if he gets his immunity and if he gets interviewed. Maybe we'll find some things out that we didn't already know, which I doubt. <laughs> but, you know, you never can tell. Uh, <coughs> next story here <coughs> is uh, Texas judge sued for starting court hearings with prayer sessions. Okay, now, come on. Really? I mean... This whole thing, uh, church and state and all that, we have in God we trust printed on our money, and for not for long. Well, yeah, if some people have their way, and then when the uh, government was first started, there was prayers uh, in uh, the White House. There's even uh, a White House Bible. Really, come on. So what's the big deal? So the judge start has a prayer. Um, you know, you don't have to pray if you don't want to. Maybe somebody does. Um, that's why they have uh, a moment of silence in schools now instead of a prayer, because it's illegal to have prayer in schools. Uh, so you have a moment of silence. So if you want to say a silent prayer, hey, more power to you. Um, my feeling is, uh, if you want to pray, you should be able to pray wherever you want to, whenever you want to. It doesn't matter. Well, it matters to the people that want to pray, but, you know, it's not infringing on anybody's rights. So, why does everybody get all bent out of shape? I know, because you're atheists and you don't believe in God. Well, that's fine, you know. We're not... Uh, forcing you to pray. You can just stand in silence for a few minutes. Okay? Uh, but you shouldn't be trying to uh, step on anybody else's rights. You know, it's a free country. People should be able to do you what they want the right to do. You have right to remain silent, so shut up. That's exactly it, Cindy. Take your own rights and get out of town. <laughs> Uh, and in the next story here, neighbor ha harassed dog with his drone. Uh, this guy flew over man's house and his yard, and uh, his dog was out in the yard, and he'd do this constantly. And so the guy went to the neighbor, and he asked him, please don't fly his drone over his house and, and harass his dog. Well, the guy with the drone just laughed at him and told him to go away. And he kept doing this. He kept flying over the guy's house. And he'd do dive bombing on the dog. And just almost hit the dog and then fly back up and come around and do it again. And he'd do this several times. Well, one day, <laughs> he got too close with that drone. The dog caught it, crushed it into little bitty pieces. So... 
The drone owner comes to the guy's house all mad, says he's going to sue, and he did sue the guy. Well, the drone owner was asking for like 700 or seven to $900, something like that, and then $400 on top of that because he couldn't get the pieces of his drone back right away. But the uh, homeowner countersued. He sued because he had to take his dog to the vet and have the dog x-rayed to make sure there wasn't any pieces of the drone inside the dog. He had to have his dog's mouth checked out to make sure there wasn't any broken teeth or anything and any cuts in his mouth. And then he had to buy uh, soft dog food for the dog because he couldn't chew his regular dry dog food. Um... All in all, uh, the vet bills and everything came to about $2,000. So the judge threw out the drone owner's case and uh, gave the award to the homeowner for $2,000 plus. So, you know, this isn't the first time some idiot has flied their drone over somebody's house. There was a a uh, case before where a guy flying a drone was flying over this guy's house when his teenage daughter was out sunbathing. So what did the guy do? He took it out of his shotgun and shot the drone down. Well, they arrested the guy for shooting down the drone, but then they released him later. But uh, there is a law out that it's um, illegal to shoot down an aircraft. But you know what? These idiots that get these drones and they just want to harass people with them um, they get what they deserve <laughs> the guy thought he was gonna be cute and harass the guy and his dog and he found out that uh, he wasn't so cute now he's out two thousand dollars so you know I, I don't feel sorry for the guy really if it was my place, my dog, if the dog didn't catch the dang drone, I would have shot it down myself. So, there. Um, next one here, uh, 25 crazy laws you may not, you may be breaking. This is a YouTube video that I was watching, and a link to this and all of the articles uh, are going to be on my uh, Google Plus page, which is down in the description. Uh, now, the reason I am uh, put this up here today to tell you about, because <laughs> uh, one of the uh, laws kind of struck home, because I used to live in Belleville, Illinois. Well, it seems that in uh, 2008, Belleville, Illinois passed a law that if you're over 12 years old, it's against the law to go trick-or-treating. And if you do... You can be fined a hundred dollars. Okay. Well, you know what? Some people are just big kids, and they just don't know when to quit trick or treating. And some people want to dress up in costumes on Halloween and try and lure kids away with candy. Yeah, that too. So you got to be careful. But anyway, that was Cindy from the Nut Gallery over there. Yes. What nut are you today, Cindy? Let's see. I'm a hazelnut. A hazelnut. A witch hazelnut. <laughs> well, you got the witch part right. That's right. And you saying I'm not nutty enough? You're, um, you're, are you saying uh, I'm not nutty enough? <laughs> oh, you're nutty enough for the nutty club. <laughs> nutty but club. but are you turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle. <laughs> I'll make your video. Yeah, and be quiet. Is that what be you're quiet. saying? Yeah. Make your video. Be quiet about it. And then the last story here. Hiker who saved a baby bear with CPR has no regrets despite jail threat. He was fighting to survive. This hiker, he was on, he's a photographer, and he was on walking on a trail, and he found this baby bear. At first he thought it was dead. It was weighed less than five pounds and it had been abandoned by its mother. It must have been sick uh, to begin with. Um, but he found this bear on a trail and when he picked it up he thought it was dead so he gave it CPR. And the bear started breathing. So 
he carried this bear two miles to a place where he could get it some help. But um, they helped the bear, and uh, the bear was recovering. But they uh, said that they could arrest the guy for uh, interfering with wildlife. Because for whatever reason, and I don't understand this, they say that since he took the bear, that the bear can't be put back in the wild. I don't know why. I mean, people do it all the time. The researchers, they'll take uh, animals out of the wild and they'll hold them for a while and they'll tag them and then they'll let them loose. So why can't they do the same thing with this bear if it survives? Um, I, I just don't understand the reasoning for that. You try, You try to do something good and help an animal and they want to fine you for it. Uh, that's just crazy. You know, life is just getting way, way out of control. Yeah, let's move back to the, you know, like, early 60s. There you go. Where you could get, keep wild pets on your property. Well, <laughs> not where I live, but uh, uh, some people called us kids wild animals. So. No. Yeah, all of our grandkids are wild animals, let me tell you. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> wild animals. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope everybody's had a good day today and um, didn't have to work too hard if you had to work. If you didn't have to work and you got the day off and got to rest, I hope you got some rest then. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, links to those are down in the description. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just uh, click the uh, icon on the screen there. And also check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. And until tomorrow, everybody, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>